Hello there, this is the Digital Lust. Thanks for stopping by. A uh, bit of a different video this time. Uh, no gear reviews, just a little bit of music. It's mostly just a bit of an update video. Uh, just looking at what I've been doing, kind of explaining why there have been a few just delays in any music or gear reviews going on. Um, I'm just walking up my stairs into the attic where I keep all of my stuff. Uh, it's messy at the moment, but I'm not going to apologize for that. We can just have a quick look around. This is kind of like my weird secret lair that I have. Um, but yeah, uh, so just, yeah, little update on what's been going on, kind of explaining why there have been some delays and a couple of requests actually. But uh, yeah, let's talk. So we'll start with the requests, we'll just get them out of the way, uh, don't worry, it's nothing terrible. First of all, uh, if you've subscribed to my channel, thank you so much, it's it's all very small right now and like who knows what's going to happen in the future, but the fact that there's anyone out there that seems interested or is enjoying what I'm doing is just like mind blowing and I love it and I'm so excited and yeah, I'm just really happy that just anyone's even interested in what I'm doing. Uh, I guess even if no one was interested, I'd still do it because I just have a lot of fun. Um, so thank you to anyone that subscribed. Um, of course, to enjoy this, you don't have to subscribe, but there has been a lot of talk about things on YouTube changing and making it more difficult to find sort of smaller independent channels. I don't know how much of that is accurate or how much of that is kind of scaremongering. Um, but if you have been watching the channel, if you are enjoying it, if you like my music or my reviews or anything really, uh, maybe just please do hit subscribe. Again, I don't know what's going to happen with YouTube changes, but it will make it a lot easier to find uh, independent content, I guess, if the channel has more subscribers, more shares, that kind of thing. So again, you don't have to, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and I still really appreciate you viewing, but yeah, if you're getting a kick out of this, please hit subscribe, please hit a thumbs up if you find anything helpful or enjoyable. Leave comments as well, um, I'm very quick to reply to any comments and I enjoy that interaction, I really like it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's kind of a bit of a, I don't know, I almost feel dirty asking, oh, please subscribe, <laughs> uh, but uh, here we are, it's YouTube, so, um, <clears throat> and the other, I guess it's kind of a request, and more of just like a little tap on the shoulder, um, with my music, I tend to make little sort of just short films sort of around it, it's usually just imagery, but Film scoring is something I'd really love to do, and I know I'm just some guy in an attic with some bits of equipment, um, but it's something I would really love to get involved in. I've had my music used on a couple of really small films. I'll put a couple of links below. Um, he's on YouTube as well. Uh, but <clears throat> they were sort of existing pieces of music that I have on the channel already. Um, but if you do have a short film, or even a long film, um, that needs some sort of lo-fi, atmospheric, sort of cinematic music, sounds, uh, kind of like a w weird used tone that I kind of enjoy doing. Uh, again, like check out my music if, it, if you feel that that's the kind of thing that might fit in with any like, visual projects you have, like, hit me up, I'd love to help. Um, I'm located in central Illinois in the US, uh, but the internet has made this, uh, the world very small, uh, especially for this kind of thing. It's not difficult in this day and age to sort of operate and help each other sort of across borders here. So yeah, if you need help, any music sounds uh, for any short films you might have, yeah, please go ahead, hit me up. <clears throat> With that, I only ask just ask me first before you use any of my music, that would be great. Um, 
always just give me credit and you know point people towards my channel or my Bandcamp page which I will also link below uh, and my music will for the time being anyway certainly stay my property um, but yeah just just credit where credit's due but yeah I would love to just create something completely new for anyone if they have any film projects that need the kind of music that I do so yeah please go ahead and uh, shoot me a message So it has been a little while since I've uploaded a video, uh, just a lot of things have been happening which some music related, some private life which I say private but I'm going to talk about it right now. <clears throat> um, so everyone in my house, we just one by one got this awful crippling stomach flu no need to get into details there but that sort of knocked everything out for a while uh and then just as everyone was getting well uh we were sitting down to dinner one night and we noticed in our dining room a slow drip coming from the ceiling uh now our bathroom in our house is on the second floor now this house we live in is, I mean things have been randomly updated over the years, but it's about 111 years old, I think, give or take a couple of years, um, but it's an old house. Uh, now I should also say that our house, okay, the people we bought it from, they're only here for seven or eight years, and their only real crimes were not maintaining a damn thing, and having terrible, just decorations everywhere which were held on the walls by random nails and screws and when we looked at the house there were just jars of rusty nails and screws on every surface everywhere you looked I mean you can picture it probably um, and they were just using they were just ramming these nails and screws in every surface to hang random things up and it was just insanity it was really frustrating but whatever they also didn't yeah they just didn't seem to maintain anything um, and they left a bunch of garbage here as well when they moved out, which whole other issue. But the people before them, and I'm not going to give anyone's name here, uh, but the people before them had been here for like 40 odd years. Um, this was like their big family home. And putting it lightly, this guy, uh, I shouldn't just say this guy because his wife was completely complicit in all of this as well. But this couple were known ah well were and are known slumlords in uh, in our city. Um, I mean, this is not rumor or hearsay. This is absolute verifiable fact. There is, we've even looked up the old newspaper articles that name these two people. Multiple lawsuits taken against them. City had given them multiple orders to pull down random properties. And it seemed, and again, this is all completely public record stuff, it seemed that every 10 years, one of their properties would mysteriously burn down. Um, but we're not going to get into that, and maybe they were just unlucky. But again, I'm not going to name any names. He's dead. Uh, his wife is still living in town. We don't know her, she doesn't know us, but still, we're not going to get into all of that. So anyway... This was their house, and he had some really wacky ideas about how maintenance should be taken out and how to look after things. So we had a plumber come around that we're going to have to pull up the floor on this second floor bathroom. So we're like, well, we're just going to rearrange the whole thing because it was this ugly old clawfoot tub. Like, don't let anyone tell you that a clawfoot tub is a great thing. They're awful. They're enormous. They don't hold heat. They just waste water. That's garbage um and so we got a contractor we have a plumber the contractor came by started ripping out the floor uh i was home at the time just hanging out downstairs and i could hear a lot of banging and then i heard a bit of just quiet swearing um and then he comes down he's like yeah i need a jackhammer it's like what so Turns out at some point, uh, the previous, no, not the previous, but the uh, previously mentioned longtime owner of this house had replaced the floor at one point, but 
instead of just laying a floor on the joists, he'd filled up that empty gap with five, six inches of concrete. All right, so this might give you an idea of what I'm talking about. This is our old stripped out bathroom. As you can see, sorry, it is pretty dark. There's no electricity really in here. Uh, and it looks kind of horrifying in this light, on this angle, but this is our current bathroom. You can see in this picture what it looked like before. And under that layer of floor was this tile. The hexagon is okay, and that's kind of probably similar to what we're going to put down. So these sections along here, you can see just the uh, regular slats there, which are pretty common. You can see over here, the old plumbing, that's all getting pulled out. Um, over all of these sections here, there were like boards of wood. And over that was poured concrete all the way up to the top of these here. Um, You'll see in these photos here an idea of what I'm talking about. You can see the top of the pipes there, and that's all concrete. You can see a little bit of a hole in this picture here. That was throughout this entire bathroom from wall to wall. Um, so it's just been a shit show, like one thing after another. Which is the second reason I haven't really been uploading a whole lot of music lately. Um, third reason is I've been kind of changing how I record. Uh, nothing major, but if you've read the title of this video, yeah, I have been playing around with doors or digital audio workstations. And it's kind of something that I've had to, I played around with them years ago and I decided I didn't like them. But then with a lot of the music I've been just playing around with and experimenting with lately, there's a lot of sort of chopping up and fading in and out that I've been trying to do, which is really difficult to do on the four track cassette recorder I've been using and the Zoom R16 that I also like to use. Um, I haven't given up on those at all, but there are certain things that I've kind of felt that I needed a door on my laptop. Um, so I've kind of been relearning a few things, but why don't we just go over there and just have a quick look at what I'm talking about. Okay, so we are over on the other side of the room um, where I typically do my recording. Um, so yeah, doors, I've been playing around with them. Uh, so I got myself pretty cheap uh, the Novation launch key, the 49, uh, which is, it's a MIDI keyboard, a USB MIDI keyboard. Um, I really kind of got I don't know, very taken with the idea of it. It came with Ableton Live Lite. Uh, it came with like a bunch of free different instrument packages, really nice uh, upright piano from XLN, the addictive keys, that sounds great. Uh, and yeah, I play around with Ableton Live Lite. And I know this is just me because it's massively popular, um, but I just didn't like it. I'm, I tried, uh, I don't have it anymore. Like I ended up just returning it because it was just nothing I could really gel with. Um, again, I know it's probably mostly me, but I didn't give up on doors. So I tried a few different ones. I tried Cakewalk, which is actually pretty good. Um, it's free as well, like completely free. Uh, but I've been playing around with a Reaper um, and that one, I think, has been working out for me best. Now, <clears throat> playing around with the USB MIDI keyboard, uh, I figured out that I don't like playing uh, MIDI virtual instruments. Again, I know that's just me. Um, so I'm going to just use a door literally for recording. Uh, I mean, don't worry, I've still got the four tracks, still got the zoom over here. There's the reel-to-reel. -reel. I don't really use that for recording so much as I do for sound effects and that kind of thing. And it doesn't get used much, but I'm glad it's there. I kind of just enjoy it being around. Um, so 
yeah, I've just been, it's really messy at the moment because I've been rearranging things, but um, you can kind of see where I record down here. Got my laptop here. It's a few years old, but you know, it works fine. I just doubled the RAM, got a solid state drive for it. And yeah, it's probably good for another few years, hopefully now. Um, and then we can see here, I got my CS that I use a lot for almost everything. Um, yeah, just a series of effects pedals that I might be using. I ended up going the Focusrite audio interface. That's the 8i6, and that's been working fine. Again, this is kind of having, almost having to relearn a lot of things, um, which, yeah, it's fine, I guess. I don't want to come off as some sort of, you know, oh, I only use analog cassettes for the uh, pure warmth and blah, 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 blah. Um, like, not at all. It's more a workflow thing. I enjoy the pressing of buttons and the click clack of mechanical parts moving around. But there are just things that I can do in a laptop based door that I just can't do um, unless I go chopping up bits of tape, which I'm not gonna do. I did record a bit of music with Ableton Live Lite and it's probably what's playing in the background right now. Let's have a listen, shall we? Like I didn't love it. It's that was all virtual instruments that was used on that. Um, again, it's clearly fine for the majority of people recording music because that's just the direction that everything's going. Uh, and again, it's fine. It's just yeah, virtual and just not for me. But my attitude might change on that at some point because it certainly has changed a bit on doors as a recording medium. It's really not that bad. And Reaper is can get a bit complicated as far as like there's a lot to it but if you just use it very simply it's what okay it's one of those things that can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be so i'm fine with it in the next video that will be coming up hopefully soon because i've already started recording for it will be a review on this guy here the whoop it's all plugged in still it's the uh time maker delay it's a Rowan branded delay pedal. I say because, I mean, as we know, these are pedals that are typically uh, rebranded by a lot of different companies. But um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with things right now. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the desk. But yeah, so that's just what's been going on. Um, if you've stuck around and listened to me rant a little bit, uh, I appreciate it. Um, again, as I said earlier in the video, like, please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed this or found it helpful. Uh, check back for more music, which will be coming soon, and more gear reviews. Uh, there is quite a lot that I've got sort of half done. And again, if you want any music for any film projects you might have going, hit me up. Like, let's see if we can get something going. It's something I'd really love to branch out into. Um, and again, thank you for watching. Uh, I really appreciate any of your support. Uh, hey, even if you just want to say hi in the comments, go right ahead. I love, I love that interaction. Um, but again, check back. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, just, yeah, thanks again. Hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.